us here. We did have a little bit of light rain push through earlier this morning. Still a little bit lingering in Racine and Kenosha County, but that little band of rain is going to continue to slide off to the east and with it will go the clouds. So we do still have some clouds hanging out in Milwaukee right around 65 degrees, though we'll call it mostly cloudy at the moment, but look further out to the west. Look at out Sullivan at the National Weather Service. Clear skies there and with the clear skies and sunshine, temperatures are already starting to warm up. 67 at the moment out in Sullivan. This is why we're talking about potential to see a few 70s this afternoon. Menominee Falls looking pretty good as well with mainly blue skies and oh, hey, my temperatures don't want to show up there either, but bet you they're in the 60s. Pretty much everybody's in the 60s at the moment, but hey, Janesville already bumped up to 70 degrees thanks to that sunshine. You're going to see the warmer air first in the west because you'll see the sunshine longer. 68 at the moment in Watertown, 62 in Port Washington. So eventually the clouds will escape the area and we'll be watching those winds staying a little bit breezy as we go to the afternoon hours. Winds from the south though, so that's the warming wind brought a little bit more moisture as well as we had some of that light rain pass through, but only a couple of hundredths of an inch was really witnessed with this little band of rain and we had one during the overnight hours as well, but still just a little bit right along the shoreline in Kenosha County that again pushing out to the east. High pressure is going to give us a quiet rest of the afternoon, a little bit of remnants of that. Then we've got this area of low pressure. This was the cold front that is going to bring a big change to the middle of the week. That's tomorrow. Yeah, increasing clouds tomorrow morning and then we'll be watching a chance for some scattered showers throughout the afternoon mainly. I think you'll have a dry start to the day, wet finish, but then by the time we get to about 9 p.m. The rain exits the area. High pressure slides on down from Canada on Thursday and with it is going to come much cooler temperatures. We go from a high of 70 degrees this afternoon into the 50s by Thursday again. So those stray showers pretty much exiting. It is certainly going to be warm for October, a little bit breezy. The winds start to calm down overnight tonight. We'll call it partly cloudy overnight. That'll keep our temperatures relatively mild with 56 degrees being your start to the day tomorrow. Cloud cover will be increasing throughout your Wednesday, a high of 65 because that cold front will be pushing across the area, giving us a chance for some showers again, especially in the afternoon. About a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch expected by the time we get to Wednesday night, Thursday and Friday behind this front. It'll get a little bit cold. Yeah, 53 degrees for your high on Thursday, 58 on Friday. Don't worry, though, if you like the 60s, they'll be back in the forecast by the time we get to your weekend Saturday, looking like the drier day out of the two.